So today it's quite typical I wanted to show you. It's just one around wrapping text around images. Um, we, we do this quite a lot in design. I'm sure many of you have done it before. And generally what we have is an image in a rectangular or square shape frame. And we tend to wrap it around the shape of the frame. So we'll do something like that. We may even play with this inset spacing to push it out slightly. But occasionally you might want to wrap it around an image which is a little bit like this one, it's on a white background, it might be a product shot, it might be a, a person's headshot or something like that, and you want to wrap the text just around the image rather than the actual shape of the frame. And you can actually do that. What you'll need to do to do it though, is go over here and actually click on this third one here, which is wrap around the object shape. And we're wrapping around the object shape now. I'm going to click off there and reselect that because I noticed I've got the brown border there and I'm selecting the image rather than the frame. And then with that selected, I'm now going to go to the object menu and down to clipping path options. And in there, within the options section, the first option there is detect edges. Now you'll notice there's other options there. And at a more advanced level, if you're happy working with things like alpha channels um, in Photoshop in the channels panel there, or using Photoshop paths, for example, they can both be used as the basis for your text wrap. But on this one, I'm just gonna keep it nice and simple and go for detect edges. And it then allows me to wrap around the shape of the actual item there. I'll click OK to that. And if I do decide I want a little bit more space in there, what I can do is just make sure I've got it selected. And then over here, I can increase that inset there. So bring it out a little bit, maybe make it six or seven, and it pushes out a bit more. Or maybe I'm happy with something a bit tighter there, something like that. So you've got a nice way of just wrapping around the actual shape of the image, you know, rather than wrapping around the actual rectangular frame, if you like. Hopefully that helps.